Hello, I'm Microsoft MVP Tom Morgan. I want to bring you this short video just to talk about Microsoft DataFlex. You might have heard the announcements um, that it's coming and it's coming to Microsoft Teams. So what is Microsoft DataFlex and what does it mean for Microsoft Teams developers? So in coming up with this answer, I've been looking at blog posts, I've been looking at the Microsoft Roadmap um, and also the Microsoft 365 Message Center updates um, to bring you this information. So it looks like if you want to use Dataflex inside Microsoft Teams, uh, you will have to do that via Power Apps and, by, and via Power Virtual Agents. It doesn't appear like there's a way to interact directly with Dataflex. Now, this may not be true. It just might not be the focus of um, you know, the marketing and the announcements right now. But certainly everything I've seen so far indicates um, that this is functionality coming to Power Apps and Power Virtual Agents. Both of those um, technologies, both of those parts of the Power Platform are going to get their own Microsoft Teams application. So this is kind of interesting. So from the App Store, you'll be able to go and add Power Virtual Agents or add Power Apps and, and do the authoring of those applications right inside Microsoft Teams. And as part of that, you, that's where you will go and set up your Dataflex table uh, with its columns, build that relational data store that we're all so excited about. So this is kind of really interesting. So this means that if you're writing applications that need persistent data store in something that is a bit more complex than just a regular list, Previous to this, you'd have to go out to um, you know, a third-party data store like a database, um, Azure storage tables, something like that. Now, it seems like you don't have to do that. You can do it right inside Microsoft Teams. The Dataflex kind of data repository lives inside Microsoft Teams, and Microsoft are going to bring admins enough kind of compliance tools to manage the fact that that data is then living inside Microsoft Teams. So when is this coming? Well, um, in a message center announcement made on July 28th, um, Microsoft said uh, that the rollout of this will begin in mid-August and be completed by the end of August. So as I record this, by you know roughly a month's time, everybody should have this, which is really exciting. Um, so there's nothing really to do um, in order to um, to kind of have this. It, it will show up. If you're an administrator and you want to restrict it, you can do it in the same place that you manage all other uh, Microsoft Teams applications um, in, uh, you know, kind of in the, um, the Microsoft Teams admin center uh, for the policies uh, for specific applications. So it's going to be just tr just like a regular Microsoft Teams app, except that, that app is for building Power Apps, similar to how you do it in the Power Apps website, or building Power Virtual Agents the same way that you do it right now in a website experience. You're going to be doing that right inside Microsoft Teams. I think that's pretty exciting. I'm uh, interested and excited to play with it when it comes out. Um, stay kind of tuned for more information. I'll definitely be doing videos showing you how it works uh, as soon as I can get my hands on it. That's all for me. Make sure you carry on um, keeping up with what's new. You can do that by uh, subscribing to my YouTube channel or following me on Twitter or both. Thanks very much for watching.